Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day here and it's nice to believe that you guys are there listening to this podcast. My name is Yomi Olowe, I'm from African Business Chamber of Commerce. I want to talk about an important topic that is very special to me, business in the era of pandemic. As a businessman, you have to pretend not to be affected by pandemic. And that is why I think I can share these few insights that can help all of us in maintaining our business. Before pandemic, it is always business as usual and everything follows natural flow of events. Policy made by government, by government, company, and sometimes the dictate of trends. Trend and business happen relatively and it reflects of what crop up from influencers, stars, and sort of surprises due to circumstances and other unpredictable events. With pandemic, everything has changed and it is no longer business as usual. Trend is now determined by the event that are out of policymaker control and people are forced to bend and cope with the new normal. There is no doubt that many factors, including trend, are very big parts of business decision making. But pandemic was not only part of business decision making, is the only reason now that influences most business decisions. Business have spent most of the 2020 scrabbling to adapt to extraordinary circumstances and come up with plan to say through this era. Why the fight against COVID-19 pandemic is not yet won? With vaccines in sight, there is, at least, it seems there is a light at the end of the tunnel, with hope that everything will continue to follow the path of downward graphs in the containment of the virus and the death of pandemic victim. I pray that none of us will be a victim of this COVID-19 pandemic. The year 2020 changed business in an unprecedented way. Companies had to adapt to new working environment a new customer demand. Specific industry like tourism, hotel, event, and travel took a big hit. Why other like online business saw unexpected growth? 2020 will be a year Zoom who want to live again. Why most hairline who wish they never go through 2020 again in their business life? 2021 to be a year that served as the beginning of post-pandemic, considering the fact that we have vaccine and is becoming more accessible and available. And politicians are recognizing the urgency in getting people vaccinated. So all things be equal, we can learn from the past year, I mean 2020, and prepare for emerging trends in the coming year in business landscape. As more business takes place online, business owners need to pay more attention to the importance of online platforms and technologies that can help maintain their presence online in the era of pandemic. Because the moment we have, many people still feel unsafe going out to do normal business and things the way they used to. There is a slew of technological standard most business need to meet for relevance and those they can keep a eyes on for future purposes. So bringing your business online especially at this era 
contacting your customer and clients through this technology medium like social media and maintaining the well-being of your employee is very important and vital to business during this pandemic era. With COVID-19 becoming under control, business are finding their feet and channel a new part of doing business and dealing with their customers. As business begin to pick up and queue begin to appear outside stores, banks, malls, and even small, business, small businesses, it's worth noting that they are not due to physic they are not due to boom in the business it is due to physical distancing requirement of most of this business and people have to understand for business to get to where they were pre-pandemic customers to be comfortable and safe to go to this places where they do their business on normal routine. Theater is still dark because people have not started going to cinema. But online platforms like Netflix, Apple TV, IPTV and others are getting better by the day. Fashion is still in the closet rather than on display because social gathering is still under lock and key. Most trends are happening online now Products are introduced and new items are finding their way to online shelves. So it is important to recognize the importance of online platform at this particular period. It is very important more than before to put a lot into consideration before taking business decisions. Among these things you take into consideration is trend analysis. Trend analysis make sure business are finding their way to their clients and customers. It will be vital to build strong customer relations and enhance employee well wellness for every company to stay competitive and keep up with industry standard. So what I'm trying to say is each industry has a standard to maintain for them to be at the level where they are before pandemic. So when you are considering the use of trend analysis, it helps you to understand what is really going on, what is the next thing that people are doing or they need. Trend analysis is the process of comparing business data over time to identify any consistent results or trend. It is also a way to identify area where business is performing well, so one can duplicate the success. It can serve as a way to identify area where business is underperforming as well, and to provide evidence that will inform either you are going to change your decision or maintain that trend that you have. Analyzing one particular form of trend is not that only thing that can help your business. But when trend information is combined with other factors, business observation and information, it can be a powerful tool for business decision making. But instead of trying to keep all your hair in one basket with all your analysis based on the day-to-day -day event which is unpredictable it is better to figure out which will be the most useful and beneficiary out of all the factors since most of the factors are irrelevant because of unpredictability of the period we are. Connect to people, gather information and ideas to enable fast 
reaction to what is going on and confident decision based on deep insight and critical information that is easy to assess. So when you react, when your reaction to event, for example, there are plans you have before the close of business the previous day and by the time you wake up today the event has totally changed and your plan cannot really work with the new thing that has come so that is why analyzing data trend and everything is very important one of the beauties of analyzing trend is the fact that it review it had to review the policy and to visualize the business decision this also creates dynamic responsive visual story that enable you to drill down for detailed information and answer business questions on the fly it's a means by which you are able to gather momentum and be confident with your decision going forward and have the satisfaction that you have dot all the highs and cross all the T's. So taking everything into consideration step by step give you some kind of confidence. With that, you can sit back and relax and let the business play out positively. Though, in this era of pandemic, it's really not easy for anybody to just sit and relax. But what we are saying is, if you put everything into consideration, you pay attention to trend, what your client and customer want, and what is going on, and you follow the reaction of government to the pandemic, you might be able to have some space about your business. In the pandemic era, understanding trend is important. But meeting the needs of the employee is very vital to business as much as meeting the customer's and client's needs as well. So both as now as important, you cannot Take care of one and forget the other. Business owners need to understand the importance of welfare of their employee and making them believe that they are in need together in this particular area. Either the employee are coming from home or working from home or coming to the office. They must see that their health is important and taken into consideration. So, in this particular era, era of pandemic, you have to take care of your employee, their welfare, their well-being, and they have to understand they are not just two in your hands. The same way you prioritize the well-being, the needs of your client and customer, so that you don't just come to office one day and you realize none of them is there. Because if you don't prioritize their life, their well-being, their welfare, they will not be able to put their life on the line for your business. One of the reasons there are so many industrial strikes in Nigeria health sector is the fact that the doctors, nurses, and health workers who are frontline workers in the situation in this pandemic did not feel like government got their back they didn't feel like government is taking care of them or doing enough to take care of them as they sacrifice their life for the care of nigeria some of them have been victim of pandemic the one who are not victims see the life of their colleagues taken away and see that most of the promises that government made are not fulfilled and the survivor are just asking themselves, why should they give their life for this? So that is why 
in this pandemic era you have to put everything into consideration your normal policy the policy of the government the welfare of your employee the need of your client look at what happened to uh, most airlines in united states and europe all over the world most of them lost their business almost all the business due to pandemic this is not because of what they do or what they didn't do it's because of what is beyond their control it's not in their permutation that pandemic will just come and stop everything you have to understand that even during world war ii sports were going on business were going on but in this pandemic sports was stopped business was stopped so nobody can predict and it seems we are getting out of this pandemic but nobody knows what can happen because with the vaccine people are not so we have a lot of different opinion about vaccine that is why we the policy maker the business policy maker have to be ahead and put everything into consideration the trend is not about what the customer need but also taking care of employee as you set the goal to meet customer needs i hope i've been able to share one thing or the other about business in the era of pandemic and you have been able to get something if you want to see more podcasts like this you can go to our website www.africanbusinesschamberofcommerce www.abcc-africa.org or you can go to my youtube youtube channel emi oreku olowe or my facebook Yomi Olowe, or my Twitter, Yomi Olowe, or you can go to my Instagram, Yomi Olowe, or you can send us mail at African Business Chamber of Commerce, support at African Business Chamber of Commerce. You can read this podcast in form of article or you can listen. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.